Okay, so I started the recording. I missed my whole opening spiel, so that's fun. I'd have to splice that on if I ever decide to do a highlight video of that. Um, okay. In Helping Radio 3. Thank you. You are helping me. There we are. Don't worry about the pomegranates. So, um, I have a couple of folks who might be coming in on voice at some point. Uh, they seem a little busy right now. That's fine. They're perfectly fine. A um, couple of people who have played Pokemon before. And I have not. What? What? All right. So we're going to start a new game. Why does that slow bro have nipples? No, no. That's a mill bro. Or slow tank. I forget which. Modern mode. Oh my god. Okay, I have to look up what these do. Hold on. <laughs> I have to look up what these do. Okay. Radio, you are going to milk him? Uh, no, I'm not going to be milking any Pokemon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No! Okay. Game modes. There's apparently a random mode. So that's the randomized. Uh, okay, so modern mode is what I want to go with because apparently it has all the... It has several generations of Pokemon. Where's 30-ish? It has several generations of Pokemon, whereas Classic Mode only has uh, two generations, I think. It's not milk time. No, it is not. <laughs> ha ha, do random mode and get your first Pokemon who only knows explode. I mean, that is entirely possible. All right, y'all can just deal with the white background. I think I know what to do, actually. Haha, <laughs> yes, I do. Someone type something again. Really? Peebus? Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine, right? Y'all can see it clearly enough. Don't worry about it. Alright, so our name is going to be Ray. Because, of course, it's going to be Ray. Fuck it, I need the chat blocker back. Yeah, baby, you can join in voice chat. All right. Hey. Damn it, why are you making me do this? There we go. Is this information correct? Yes. Game's difficulty. We're going to play normal, I think. Yeah, we're going to play normal. Uh, hello, baby. Hello. How do, baby? Hello. 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 Reverse. Oh. I won't be here because Radia doesn't know type advantages. I don't, and I also don't know this game path. Apparently, okay, so this is apparently a reimagining of Pokemon Black and White uh, with the new features. 
Oh, Regular fine. starters? Let's do no. Which set of oh, starters? Did... Does this mean you're going to get to date N? I don't know. Uh, so, which set of starters do I use? Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, or Sinnoh? Oh, man, they all have good ones in them, though. Uh, okay, what is your favorite type of little guy, like grass, water, fire? When we're talking about starters, it's usually a hard split between grass and fire. Certain generations, it's grass. Certain generations, it's fire. Yeah, okay. So, Sino? What is Sino? I think Sino's the one with our good grass snake boy. You know what? Let me have the uh, Pokemon Wikipedia up. Not the Infinite Fusion Wikipedia, oh, just no, normal no, no, Pokemon. No, 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 no. That's hmm? the one with, uh, that's the one with the best monkey boy. Okay, Sinnoh Starters has the chimp. Yes, uh, who I love. He's my baby. He's my number one starter. Hoenn Starters has Torchic. In Mudcap, very important. Johto Starters... Has Cyndaquil and Fur Alligator. Cyndaquil's pretty good. But I'm thinking... As far as I remember, um, the, the chimp has a, some sick-as-hell evolutions, right? Oh, yeah, he turns into a fire-fighting monkey. He's great. I love him. He's, like, always been on my court team since he was introduced. Kanto's the OG. Okay, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you want a Charizard, yeah. Well, I want monkey. <gasps> monkey. So Sinnoh it is. Yes! Auto save on yes, because I'll forget to save. Do I skip the intro? No, you need that. That's the story. <laughs> Sorry, t -Doo. Uh, So, file A. Yes, overwrite. Is the game loud enough? Sylphco is proud to announce. Oh, right. I'm going to turn on the side stream for you. Oh, OK. So this isn't black and white. This is um, diamond pearl. Oh, OK. I mean, I thought I heard the story was black and white. Oh, I might be wrong, though. Yeah, I was wondering if it was the, like a redo of black and white, why it only went up to Sonoa. Uh, side stream is up. Silphco is now proud to announce the new product that will revolutionize Pokemon battling. Introducing DNA Splicers. This revolutionary new device extracts the DNA of, a two, of two Pokemon and combines them to create an entirely new species. So, hold on, like, uh, Gengar and N Nidoquil? Nidorino. Nidorino. Also, oh my god, this could not be done in black and white and would murder you on the spot. Why? He's like that. He would firebomb this company. Ooh. Oh, N. I thought you said and. Okay. <laughs> I, Whoops. Yeah, the character who is just the letter, whose name is just the letter N. Got it, got it. I'm also noticing it's a little over bright, so we're going to color correct that. Okay, and there, that should be accurate. Select any two Pokemon, use your DNA splicers on them, and just watch the magic happen before your eyes. Fused Pokemon can learn moves from both halves, which gives them an edge over regular Pokemon. And now you can try it on your very own Pokemon. DNA splicer is now available for purchase at every Pokemart. So, from what I hear, this game has about 746,000-plus Pokemon types, combinations. Because um, it has something like four or five generations, and every one of those can combine with every other Pokemon, including themselves, to make a new Pokemon. Oh, wow. So, if you know the base Pokemon and what they do in their types, apparently that is the only way you survive this game. So, you know, that is why I thought it would be very helpful uh, to have 
to have an expert of some kind on the show, so to speak. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, what would be the most fucked up Pokemon we could make? It's a PS5. Take that, Nintendo. Uh, apparently, Miltank, uh, all of the Miltank crosses are intentionally and custom cursed. You see two of them down below. That's good. Like, also, that's fantastic because Miltank is an absolute tank. Ray booted up the PC. What do you want to do? Nothing I could do here, I don't think. Wait, let's check my mailbox. No mail. Okay. Full of your favorite clothes. So yeah, what game does this look like? Diamond Pearl? Yeah. Okay, I was mistaken. Ray, we received a letter for you. It's from the Pokemon League. Here, open it. Dear Ray, we are pleased to announce that your Pokemon League application has been accepted. You are hereby recognized as an official Pokemon trainer. You can now earn badges and take part in the Pokemon League challenge. You will find your trainer card attached to this letter. We wish you the best of luck. Pokemon League admission. You know, the fact that this includes a random mode indicates to me that if I like this game, I'm probably going to be able to get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Oh, yeah. Random modes are really fun. Also, I have realized I think the best combinations that we should shoot for with Miltank mm -hmm. um, is, okay, so if this is going after Platinum, then that means you can capture three gods. And we need to combine those gods with Miltank. As far as we know. Uh, That's true. Okay. So, oh, also, this is uh, hmm? the game that had the aforementioned God of Time, God of Space, and God of Void. Arceus? Uh, no, that's like the overall Pokemon God. Oh, there's a God, and then there's like sub gods. No, they're all gods and sub. Well, the sub gods are usually like the the two gods that come <laughs> first, and then when they do the third game, then that's when they have like the God who is like the god over those two gods. Okay, so the creator god is Arceus. Okay, what if we combine the gods with Grimer to melt them? Apparently, okay, so here's the way I've heard it works. Uh, there are two slots per fused Pokemon. There's the head slot and the body slot, and you can put either Pokemon in either slot. So if you combine Miltank and Slowbro, you get a slow tank, and if you combine Miltank and Slowbro again, you get a, a Mil Miltank, or, or Milbro. You get me? No. No, what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Radio, this is very, very important. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm listening. What's up? We need to combine Darkrai with the Mr. Mime. Don't know what that means, but okay. Ray obtained the trainer card. So what did it say? They accepted your Pokemon trainer application. Ray, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. At least someone is. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh, isn't that the boy next door? Oh, isn't that boy next door receiving his first Pokemon today as well? I overheard Professor Oak talking about it. Hmm, what is the name that everyone calls him again? Baby, we got a chance. We have a chance. We have a chance. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, it's got. It's. It's Gary. Wow. He's the arrival in here. That's interesting. Also, just to tell you, the very first Pokemon game I ever played was Crystal. Mm -hmm. And when they introduce your rival, um, he says his name is question mark, question mark, question mark. Mm -hmm. And so then later, when it was the time for me to name him, they asked me what his name was. And I put in question mark, question mark, question mark. You know what? So that was that was his name for the whole game because he told me that's what his name was and I was respecting that. Capitalismo. Oh, that's just cruel radio. Oh yes, that's right. Well, I'm sure that you and Capitalismo will have a ton of fun in your Pokemon journey together. Well, that's it, dear. I'm not holding you here any longer. Go have fun in your adventure. I appreciate this intro over the sun and moon six to eight hour tutorial intro. Dots. 
dots. Oh my god, what? It's awesome that you're finally becoming a trainer, sis. Okay, so apparently <laughs> Sun and Moon had the worst of literally any Pokemon game released where you don't really get to do anything by yourself until like six to eight hours have passed. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Cause like literally the games right before that, they finally were just like, okay, y'all give you the very basic tutorial, but then you're off. It's like literally the first 30 seconds you get thrown into a Pokemon battle and then like you're good, go and do stuff. Well, apparently Sun and Moon was supposed to be like the, one of their keystones for the generation. So I'm guessing why they, that's why they wanted to make it. So literally anybody could complete the game. Duly noted. Yo, Ray. Guess you just got accepted as an official Pokemon trainer. That's right, me. Uh, you got a letter too? I'm surprised they let you in. I assume they had higher standards. Well, I guess there's no point in bragging about mine now then. Anyway, Gramps told me he's gonna give me my first Pokemon. He went to Viridian City to run an errand, but he told me to wait for him at the lab. See ya. We are going to destroy capitalism. If he ends up being really nice, you're going to feel so bad about naming him that. Hey, Cat. Well, I can always change his name. Oh, they let you do that? Yeah, I played for two minutes before, and one of the houses I ran into here is his mom. And if you talk to her, she lets you change his name. I love... That is hilarious. I mean, this is a fan game. I know, but like, just you go up to someone and tell them, no, you know what? I'm renaming your child. Your child's name is this now. <laughs> Ray, <laughs> careful. I stopped you just in time. There are hostile Pokemon that way. It's dangerous to go without a Pokemon. How was that? How's that any good? Is that any good? That's very good. Speaking of which, I almost forgot. Isn't today the day you're supposed to receive your first Pokemon? Come follow me to my lab. It'll be better to talk there. What's everybody doing today? It's time for you two to set out on your journey. Go and grab your Pokemon off the table. No fair. Why does Ray always get to pick first? You'll get one too. A blue? Oh, I canceled instead of submitted. Whoops. I'll rename him in a minute. Piplup. No. Chimchar, there we go. I want to choose my Chimchar. Boy. My yes. boy? Look how cute he is. Look how cute my boy is. Ray obtained Chimchar. Okay. Would you like to give a nickname to Chimchar? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, okay. So, whenever I've tried Pokemon, a collective like six hours over the entirety of my life. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, Son Wukong based Fire Monkey. Uh, I always defaulted into naming them after bands that I liked and musicians. I think I want to do that again. What do you think? That is very cute. What do you mean cute? What is that supposed to mean? I see how it is. King Crimson? I mean, honestly, we gotta go with... We got to. I mean, let's be honest. Ah, why? Red Hot Chili Peppers is a little long. How about RHCP or Red Hot? Let's just call him Red Hot. I love that. Red Hot's the perfect name. I'm not doing Red Hot CP. That's bad. Um, okay. Folks, you write the fire and flames. Dragon Force? Well, I gotta name a dragon, a fire dragon, Dragon Force, right? So you chose, <coughs> excuse me. So you chose Chimchar, huh? Well, Gr why can I not read? Well, Gramps just got me one of those new DNA splicers they were talking about on TV. So I guess I'll take the other two and try it out in them. 
I could do that, right, Gramps? Of course. Here, I'll show you how to use them. D-Force. <laughs> DNA splicers can be used to combine the DNA of two Pokémon together to create an entirely new species of Pokémon. I would give you some as well, Ray, but unfortunately this was my last pair. Good luck on your journey. Not so fast, Ray. It's ever better to see how much stronger a Pokemon gets when it's fused with another one. Capitalismo. You are challenged by rival Capitalismo. Sent out Pip Twig. Go on, Red Hot. So, okay, so this is a fire and water type. So if I remember correctly, uh, sorry, grass and water. Grass is weak, but f water is strong against fire, right? Yeah, and so that's going to cancel out any fire type advantage. But like at this point, literally all Red Hot's going to know is like scratch. Okay, so it's a normal type move, which means it has no strengths or weaknesses usually. Okay, Leer lowers defense, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I've never found it useful to use it in like these fights, though, but I don't know how like the twist is going to make it. Attack, fuck. Well, I gotta use the Leer to lower defense. Okay, so I have four more unless they crit. I'll still win this one. Oh no! Woo, good thing my speed is better. Weak to flying yeah. bug or poison. That's why he's always my favorite, because the types I always go for are glass cannon types. Got it. Uh, so, leveling, is that randomly, randomly distributed or like weighted or? Uh, so every Pokemon has specific, um, they do have specific stats like ch uh, Chimchar, its best, best attributes are going to be attack and speed. Okay. And uh, mm. it's that's in. Uh, so if this is a fan game, I'm not sure if they're going to do like EVs and personality types, because that's when you really get into it. Uh, like without like it can get really complicated because EVs can mean uh, that you're more likely to have a certain stat be extra weighted. And that can be kind of shitty if you get like a Pokemon like Chimchar, who is like his main stat's going to be attack. Mm. But then he has a personality type that he gets lowered attack and like that attribute actually goes better to like defense or something else. But... Okay, so EVs are in the game and whoever's the body is the EV that, that, that are passed on in the fusion. Okay, uh, also, so what's, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's Chimchar's personality type? Uh, let me check if they have personalities. on infinite fusion personality yeah like just um end this and then look at chimchar stats in the menu i think it doesn't have personality let me just double check well personality okay. just tells you what ev type it is but they may have just already put oh. in here like the ev is like this one gets good attack and bad speed or something oh it's normally obscured yeah Okay, okay. I don't believe it. How can my cool fused Pokemon lose? Because you had lower speed. That's literally the only reason. <laughs> you had lower speed, because I think I had the fastest of the three Pokemon, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, you do. This Pokemon is completely worthless. I'll find some better mm -hmm. ones. Um, that's when I kick you in the ass, when you say something like that. How dare you? Hey, Lyco. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure thing, rather. Anyway, I'm off to collect gym badges. Smell you later. Not with that knowledge you are. Hello? Hello, I'm Bralfa. You are not audible, just so you know. Ray, before you leave, could you please do me a favor? I need you to pick up a parcel at Viridian City's Pokemon for me. No problem. It's just on the road, but I forgot to pick it up earlier. 
my impression's getting better. Okay, uh, Pokemon. Red Hot. Summary. Naughty Nature. So what does that mean? Okay, that's a, a pretty good one to get off the bat. I think that means attack is going to be raised. Uh, so that's good. Naughty, I don't think affects speed. So this is like actually a really good personality type to just randomly get on your first shot. And takes plenty of siestas. Is that just flavor text or is there like some mechanic there? Uh, that's part of like going with the personality type. Like, oh. also, yeah, if they had to be like really weird about it. Like, they would only give you hints at like what it, the, like what the actual stat raising was. Oh wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, so yeah, um, attack is raised. Special defense is what <laughs> negatively impacted. See, it's highlighted uh, in red and blue. Oh, attack is raised, special defense is low, so I'm weaker to elemental type attacks, but stronger with my physical attack. Yeah, only special attacks, because all attacks are bro are split between... There we go. Oh, hello. Huh? I fixed it. Nice. All attacks are split between what? Uh, they're split between attacks and special attacks. Um, when you learn a move, it'll... Or if you want to go to your moves, it'll show you which one it is. Okay, Scratch is a normal. Yeah. It says in the category, when you hover over category, the like explosion thing, that means it's physical. And okay. if it looks like a whirlpool bubble, then it means it's special. Like that? That means it's a status effect. Okay. So. Yeah, like Chimchar uh, also has decent base special attack as well. So you don't need to avoid those with him, but his. Um, his physical attacks are going to do more damage. And also, since he's fire type, um, he'll also get a uh, same type attack bonus for any fire moves. Okay, so I've got myself. I really do have a glass cannon. Cute. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he is very, very much a glass cannon. Uh, he ends up being a mixed sweeper of, sw of sorts. So, you, like, you should be really happy in that, like, there's no wrong way to build it but he's going to die very, very easily. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, His some of his best moves are honestly um, the overpowered attacks that give you recoil damage just because he'll do so much and then, like, he's not going to last a turn anyway, so it's like... So that's, like, later on. Yeah. Yeah, like, right now, it's not going to be too much of an issue. Like, um, for the base story games, at least with the regular Pokemon games, it really doesn't matter that much if you just don't pay attention to, like, types or movesets. So long as you're not constantly, like, doing, like, a weak, having, like, a weak Pokemon go up against a stronger one and, like, always using bad type, advan using bad type advantages, it's, mm -hmm. it's not a difficult game. Understood. Yeah. Uh, quick question. Where is Viridian City's Pokemon? Where is Viridian City? Uh, so that's going to be the next town over, I think, or at least another one. Yes. Uh, apparently there's debugger. Okay. There's a map okay. somewhere. Okay. So if you're in oh, yes. Pallet Town, is this going it's the with next the one. original yes. game then? I think so. Okay, so this uh, isn't diamond and pearl. It's just like um, fire red and leaf green. Well, that's the thing. I've been told it's a mix. Um, it might be that they've taken the original plot and added some stuff from black and white, because I know black and white is definitely mentioned, or maybe it's just one of the generations in there. Yeah, it has its own plot. <laughs> okay. I really hope N shows up, because I want to see him react to the idea of splicing Pokemon. I'm real fucked here. Hoot hoot. Oh, they, thank God they healed me. Okay. Well, there's not much I can do here. I don't have any Pokeballs, so... If you get too injured before you get to the next town, if you go back to Oak's lab, he should heal you. Okay, that's good. Mm, Learned your Amber. mother, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, so summary and 
There we go. The purple. Got it. Mm -hmm. Power 40, power 40. Is that relative to, uh, is that absolute or relative? Uh, the best way to look at power is take it kind of like a percentage value based on your actual stat. So if it's power 40, it is roughly 40% of your attack stat added again into itself. It's why things oh. with 100 or more are considered really good, but usually have some kind of drawback to them. Okay, well, good to know. Is this a fight? Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer? I'm a new trainer too. You should have our Pokemon battle each other to make them stronger. That's what trainers do when they meet. Sure, why not? I'm not doing a Nuzlocke, it's fine. Last minute. <laughs> Senril. God, can you believe that? Let's try it out. Can you believe that um, oh, someone running a Pokemon promotional events for the, the Pokemon company? Uh, they they were asking their uh, planners for ideas, and one of the planners said, "Let's try to run an official Nuzlocke." And they got so mad at them that they fired them. <laughs> I did like, not know that. Yeah. Oh my uh, god. Reportedly, and obviously some of this is going to be hearsay. Reportedly, they were so offended by the idea of custom runs that they stated that any deviations from the intended play style of Pokemon is considered to be an illicit modification and is not welcome in official events. Yeah. Um... Sorry to tell you, but everybody does self-imposed challenges in every game ever made. Which is why it was so comical, because every source I heard it from said, what is this nonsense? Oh, hello. Okay, I need to ember. Okay, that's a burn, which is DOT. It is not only a DOT, but it also drops their stats as well oh. so funnily enough uh it is more helpful for the fact that it makes them significantly weaker and less the actual dot because the dot is actually kind of crap <laughs> well, good to know. hey baby what's your favorite pokemon type mm, that's hard top I'd two say then. dark dark and like poison steel fairy. Dark poison steel fairy, got it. Hello, and <laughs> welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, please. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Have you seen the Pokemon Spiro while trading my Bell Sprout for it? No. Nope. Found a Route 22 during the daytime. Beep, beep, hoo. Cute. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, just an FYI, mm -hmm. usually traded Pokemon are kind of shit because kinda. they get experience a lot faster than Pokemon you catch, but their stats don't raise at the same rate. Oh, so they're like quick and easy weapons, but you gotta really get your own for long. Yeah. Haul. The other issue is if you um, level them up too much, they will straight up not listen to your orders. Like, unless you oh have certain badges. Jeez. Pokemon mm. centers are so convenient for trainers like me. They heal all your Pokemon completely, and they don't even charge you anything. But yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> one of the main benefits to trading, though, is two different core benefits one not super important so it's not i'm not even gonna mention it but the other one is actually in breeding specifically mm -hmm. if you're trying to breed shiny pokemon because if you have a pokemon that you own and some that was owned on a different account or traded to you what have you the odds of you actually getting a shiny pokemon increases by a significant amount all okay. things considered Using Pokemon is a lot of fun. You can learn all sorts of things about it at the Pokemon Academy. 
when things only evolve after trade. I mean, I'm assuming they built in alternative mechanisms in Infinite Fusion because there's no multiplayer. Yes. Let's not do this. If I remember correctly, there's literally a link cable item that you can use to evolve those Pokemon. Oh, good to know. Hello, how can I help you? A parcel for Professor Oak? Yes, of course, I got it right here. You obtained an Oaks parcel. You put the Oaks parcel away in the key items pocket. As part of a special promotion, we're giving out free DNA splicers with every parcel delivery. So here you go. A DNA splicer. Put the DNA splicers away in the items pocket. They're a hot new product. They're selling like hotcakes. Give me a poke. Uh, no, no Pokeballs. Apparently I have to finish this first. Only Pokemon I play. <laughs> Cat. Well, you got to collect all of the fairy types. That's your next, right? I don't want to spend too much. God damn it. Fletchling. I didn't want to spend oh, too much time uh, fighting before I can actually capture something. Because if I remember correctly, having a Pokemon be too powerful means it's harder to capture low level Pokemon because you overkill. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, also, funnily enough, even though the game does teach you that, yes, weakening a Pokemon makes it a lot easier to capture, like, we're, we've been indoctrinated into that, mm -hmm. uh, below a certain level, it does not matter. Like, if you were to just throw a Pokeball at this Badoof, it would not matter. Your chances okay. of catching it at low health or full health are so close to the same that it's basically irrelevant. Got it. I knew in her drink. Yeah, Tidu, 100%. Hmm. So, Monobe, you played which game the most? Uh, well, I mean, I played all of them a lot. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite? Well, I mean, I the last one I played was Black and White. I actually mm -hmm. I got an emulator to play Black and White, too, but... After those games, I didn't play anymore because I never got a 3DS or whatever it was that came after. Well, you can actually uh, emulate them a lot easier now, so maybe maybe that's something to try later. Junji Ito's story. You're right. How is yeah, my like, mm -hmm. Every Pokemon game, I put like probably at least 200 hours into. Wow. So and then that's not counting not counting ones when like I just was too bored with it, so I restarted the game. Fair enough. How's my old Pokemon doing? Well, it seems to like you a lot. What, you have something for me? Delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. And I can see they gave you some DNA splicers as well. How convenient since you've just become a trainer. But of course, you'll need a second Pokemon before you can use it. Here, I'll give you some Pokeballs so you can catch some Pokemon to try it on. You can always defuse your Pokemon if you don't like the result, but it will lose some experience in the process. Oh, thank God. Okay. So since I'm doing band names uh, and artist names in my Pokemon, I'm thinking I name the second Pokemon a different band, then I fuse the name too. Sounds like fun to me. Yeah. Yes. There's also another thing. I forgot to give you your Pokedex before you headed out earlier. Obtain the Pokedex. I already gave my grandson Lord, help his me at the Pokedex in this game. Oh, it's big, right? 740,000 plus entries? Yes, it's the, absurd. The Pokédex automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. There are over... Oh, okay, 175,000. I was misplacing that. There are over 175,000 species of Pokémon when you consider Pokémon Fusion, so I cannot possibly expect you to complete it. But you should still try to catch as many different species as you can. Imagine they'll acknowledge you finishing, like, the original Dexes. Now go, oh, your job to the Pokemon League starts now. Oh, they do? Wow, because that's, like, way more than the base games ever did. I mean, yeah, the base games were meant to be played for, like, 20 hours, extract your money, and then <laughs> get the next one. <laughs> I'm being mean, I'm sorry. I'm being mean. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my wife, you see. She loves your work. Oh, hi, Ray. What's that nickname you like to call my son again? <laughs> yeah, you can just rename him anytime. I love that. 
Okay, so now I'm basically free to do what I want, I think. Yeah, more or I'm less. I'm pretty sure you just run into the main plot at some point. Well, here we go. Oh my god. Azuril Chimchar, maybe? No, Azuril. Azuril. Azuril's a baby Pokemon. I don't know what you mean by that. Like, it's literally classified as a baby Pokemon. Oh. So let's just beat so, it up instead. Mm -hmm. So basically, there's a very, very weird distinction where like first evolution and baby Pokemon are concerned. Not every single Pokemon has a baby variety, but for some reason we got a bunch of babies. I'm pretty sure it was in second gen. Okay. Yeah, second and, gen. Yeah, second gen. And they are just worse versions of the original Pokemon that you actually want. Okay. Yeah, they were doing the second gen and then instead of making a new Pikachu, they made Pichu, and then they just threw in some other random ones to try to be like, yeah, it's a thing. They could be evolved, yeah, I think yeah. so. Because yeah, I think Gen 2 was also when they, like, could you breed Pokemon in Gen 1, or was that a Gen 2 thing? Uh, yes, but it wasn't anywhere near as helpful. Oh. It was mainly Gen 2 on because that's like my area of expertise. Like every single game I bred Pokemon. Uh, hello? Oh, he looks so sad. Uh, so depressed. <laughs> a Hoot and a, and a Chimchar would actually be really cool. Like a fighting fire owl. You need to catch him. Like, look how sad he is. <laughs> Okay. Splash. It's depressing. <laughs> I could evolve it probably. <laughs> or I mean, even better, like catching a fusion means you can split it up and you just got two for the price of one. Yeah, and then I can fuse with uh, the Pidgey or whatever the Ling is. As a uh, Ling was caught. That would be a Fletchling, which would be incredible. I love Fletchling. All right, we're we can't fuse with this one, so we'll just Tiny Robin dot Pokemon. Its tail, which is packed with nutrition, is very bouncy like a rubber ball. Azuling will mercilessly peck at anything that enters its territory. All right, is anybody it... have any good nicknames for this? Well, it's very depressed, so what's some depressing music? What's a song that makes you cry? Morrissey is very depressing. Or, okay, no, the name should be Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. Let's just call it Slim. <laughs> Filled with nutrition. I wonder where they go with it. Well, I mean, people eat Pokemon because that's the only animals. Except, mm -hmm. like, normal fish in some cases. Like, normal fish and I think a normal bird or two, and that's pre pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, they go to some kind of, like weird places with Pokemon and like their um, intelligence and so like whether or not it's okay to eat them and like other things. Yeah. But they do have like random things like throughout all the games just kind of like speckled around hinting at stuff. Can I buy stuff now? I want to buy uh... Okay, I have 3,144. I'm going to buy three more Pokeballs and five potions and two DNA splicers. Uh, what can I sell? Do I have anything? No, go <laughs> sell the debugger. No. <laughs> Brilliant. Hello, you must be right. I've received a gift for you. Here you go. Pukumuku. Oh, no shit. That's awesome. What is a Pukumuku? What is that? It is an adorable little guy. Okay, I gotta look up make, Yeah, it'll, it'll make for some very disgusting fusions. It's a marine... Oh, it's a sea cucumber! It's a sea cucumber. Yeah, it's okay. gross. 
Uh, what are some water-based Pokemon? We can do albums too, by the way. We can do albums, we can do notable songs, we can do artists. Ocean Man. Ocean Man's pretty good. It lets us use Ocean or Man for fusion too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do Ocean Man. Ocean Man, travel to the land. It's a real trick. Also, she's she's gonna be named Ocean Man, and that's wonderful. We love a GNC sea cucumber. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to catch a normal Pokemon. I think we're gonna test Ocean Man out for our fusion and keep our main uh, intact. You're a trainer, right? You should go to the Pokemon League to test your abilities. I if I catch a hoot, I will make an ocean hoot. Oh my god. Uh, let's go into the woods beyond here. I should get Grandpa to go home. He's doing much better now. I don't know what that means. Congratulations, though. Okay, let's see what we got. Bidoof. I don't want Bidoof in anything. But it's a Bidoof. Baby, do you like Bidoof? I hate his pussy. Right? What? It's the but face. Bidoof. What? I need to give it this Pokemon. Pokemon after I... Bidoof with Hoseus. Oh, Shinx. Shinx Ocean Man. Oh, oh Shinx Ocean Man. Yes, you have to catch Shinx. Like, he's okay. adorable. Oh my god, if you fused Shinx and Red Hot, they would be the cutest Pokemon known to man. I don't want cute, though. I want badass or Red Hot. Well, that'd be fire and a You know what? I'm, re I'm, re I'm actually going to go ahead and check that one. You're going to want to see the, if you, what the fusion is? Oh, absolutely. Well, it's we like, can well, just catch I, him regardless. You thought I came to this stream unprepared? No, Fair absolutely enough. not. Fair enough. Uh, what type is Shink? Shinks. Electric. Okay, so electric fire is a pretty good type's breadth, I think. Um, that ain't too bad. Electric water, electric fire. Okay. Uh, we do want to give Shinks a nickname, and it will be... Camel by Camel. But we'll call it Camel by. Or oh Camel B. Well, I'll tell you right now that if you do choose to put Shinx with your main Red Hot, mm -hmm. uh, you would start off disappointed, but it would 100% be an investment style Pokemon. Can you evolve fused Pokemon? Yes, you can. Once well, they're, they're fused, fused, each one of their fusions evolves separately. So can you... Evolve two and then one evolve. Uh, sorry, fuse two and then one evolves and it changes and then the other evolves and it changes again. Yeah, it'll end up evolving. One one of them will end up evolving and then the next level you get, the other one will end up evolving, assuming they evolve at the same level. So it's basically like a dual uh, dual fuse uh, ev evolution track shit, yes. like a battle pass. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, we'll do. Red Hot Camel be Red Camel. Sound good? Hell yeah. Yeah, and like doing these long-term investment Pokemon is how you get really attached. So that's also good. Mm -hmm. So now it really depends on if you want electric fighting or electric fire. I mean, I hear fighting is really good. Okay, Red Hot. Let's take a look at the natures. Electric, brave. Uh, brave. Let's attack see. Attack and speed. Yeah. Speed is lowered. Attack is increased. Brave sucks. That's kind of bad. Is that yeah. worth? But you can pick the nature based on the body. So if I keep the body of Chimchar. Uh -huh. Oh, that would work. That would work. Got it, TV. Okay. Let's see. DNA and if splicer. you keep his body and do uh, Shinx's head, then it means it'll end up as electric fighting. 
that, that'll be interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Fire electric, electric fire. So this yeah, would be a chimp head. doesn't come head. until way later on. This would be the chimp head. This would be the shinx head, I think. Mm hmm Fuse? Yes. The Pokemon are being fused! Rat King. Oh, that's cool. Oh! <laughs> I don't like it! <laughs> Shechar. <laughs> I don't there like it. There's a reason why I said it was an investment. That's a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do not start off looking good. It's fire is put out when it sleeps. All for dazzles is, is of dangerous sets. Oh my god. He looks like the blue gnome. We'll keep red hot because apparently we have to blaze or intimidate. We want blaze. Well, okay, no. Uh, intimidate, right? Intimidate, yeah. Intimidate is a blank broken. Use. Naughty, yes. Okay, there we Naughty. Go. Naughty. Okay, but I mean, you realize you literally made the blue gnome here. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Fuck yes, sir. <laughs> uh, okay, combine movesets? Let's combine. Replaced with tackle. We're going to replace scratch, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's basically the same. The, the, yeah, that's the same. We'll keep tackle because I like it more thematically. Red Hat learn tackle. Oh, I would have said keep scratch because doesn't tackle have like a eighty-five percent hit chance? Oh shit! Well, naughty. Excuse me. Let's find something for Ocean Man. We need something gross. Oh, get a Bidoof. Oh. <gasps> Yes, Ocean I love Bidoof. Because you, you realize, like, okay, the coolest thing about Bidoof and it's why I like them is they are actually naturally predisposed to be unable to feel fear in any capacity. What about this with Ocean Man? Uh, that would. Be, I be, I want to. I was gonna say that'd be cute, but then like Red Hot showed right up there, and I'm like, oh. Okay, so worth noting, it takes the level of the lower level Pokemon. Plastic Beach. What's that? Like you weren't gonna splice the cute little Barbie? Not this one. Oh, you uh, should get a birdie anyway. They're good. Yeah. Oh, oh! No! Oh my. That is awful. I oh. love it. Kill it. You need to catch him. Kill it. <laughs> if you catch it, oh. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> Bird without fear. <laughs> it's ill. <laughs> what do you mean, unfortunately? I love unfortunately. Viridian Forest ahead. Bug type Pokemon. Ooh, bug type! Ocean Man and a bug type. Bug type, bug type. Oh no. My favorite bug type oh, move is Fury no. Cutter. You know about Fury oh. Cutter? It's a move that increases in power and you use it multiple times in a row. Unga Bunga move. Yes! No, uh, Fury give it to Cutters. Ocean Man. Oh, shit. Sure. Well, I mean, unless he, unless he literally doesn't have any other moves. Yeah, you're right. Because, it's like, sick. it's it's like every single, like, it starts out really low power, and it's like every single turn you need to use that attack for it to get anywhere. Mm hmm. It takes. It, got it. Yeah, it takes like five turns for it to finally build up, and by that point, it's either dead or you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know uh, what the posing mushroom does. You saw it. I just gave it to one of my Pokemon to hold. The sad thing. Yeah, they can hold on to it. It's no big deal. But yeah. Uh, oh, Cutter yes, is... yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Ocean, yes, ocean yes, spider. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Someone quick. Think of a band or album name that's like spider-like or like creepy crawly. Ghost. Muse tackle. Yeah, but ghost we can use for a ghost. Uh, okay, I name her Papa. Papa? <gasps> Papa. Oh my god. All right, yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. You wanting to mix those two, you cannot go wrong. <laughs> okay, also... You could, do, you could do no wrong. <laughs> also, one thing it's very, very important for you to know, Radia, about Joltek, mm -hmm. um, is that the actual size of that Pokemon is god. she would fit in the palm of your hand. She's tiny. Oh, that's Wonderful. 
Okay, my level up stats have not been great with this one so far. That's that's fairly normal. They only really get anywhere during evolution. Like the level to level increases are you can literally ignore them. <laughs> no doubt because spider webs. I could do no doubt. I gotta save you'll pop up for something good. You know, something really good. Magic spider, necro goblin. Necrogoblicon. That's a pretty good name. Oh, uh, we're yeah, gonna call no, this you, one you no doubt. You do no wrong with this kind of mix. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I want to save ghost type names for ghost type Pokemon. A ghost fighting called Square Hammer. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're doing this right away. We're doing this oh, right away. Right now. Absolutely. Ocean Man and No Doubt. Oh, I gotta pick this one, right? Bug, wait, Bug Water or Water Electric? Uh, if I had to pick, I would say Water Electric because the bug typing has a lot of really inconvenient weaknesses and only really one, like, benefit, which is that it really screws over psychic types. Yeah, but you can usually learn bug type moves, mm -hmm. and it's, so it's usually better to like teach something that's not bug type a bug type move, and then it'll be good against um, psychic and dark. Got it. We're gonna be calling this one No Man. <laughs> Hell yes! Oh, that's sick! <laughs> I you told you. I like love. Both of them are adorable. Like, like I said, you would do no wrong. <laughs> okay, but both of them are adorable with the blue gnome. It lives in shallow seas, which is areas near a beach. It's soaking up static electricity because it can't produce a charge on its own. So it lurks in the water to, to uh, absorb the discharges of electrical Pokemon, I guess. Accuracy boosts is damaging, damages an attacker that lands the finishing hit. Compound eyes, right? Uh, neither, of, neither of them are bad, but yeah. compound I wanna, eyes I think would be say. better. Yeah, Tactic compound defense. eyes, because that also, um, that means you can't, you're not affected by the sand move, right? That lowers accuracy. Uh, I think, I'm going to have to double check that, because I know that they changed that, but Shadow I don't know if the fusion one uses the new one or the old one. Look, this is the ultimate life form, okay? Also, I'm, I'm leaning towards attack plus defense minus. Uh, what's impish? I forgot. Plus defense minus special attack. Yeah, lonely is the one to mm. go. Because we want special attack. Yeah, like, I'm not sure set. what this one will be, but, um... Oh, I keep bug. Mud sport. Cover yourself with mug. Weakens electric type moves while the user in the battle. From mine and every or everyone's. I mean, everyone's or just the enemies? Uh, everybody. What? And I don't want that. Yeah, but also Thunder Wave is fantastic. Like, first yeah, chance you get. Um, don't use an electric type against a ground type. It will not affect them. But otherwise, Thunder Wave is fantastic. Like, paralyze everybody. It seems like this is just full of utility, this moveset. So this is honestly just a good moveset. Reduces the target yeah, speed. Snares. Mud Sport's kind of just useless for you right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, It's kind of trash. <laughs> Like, hardened. even on a good move set, it's trash. <laughs> I'm thinking replacing String Shot with Harden, maybe? Uh, String Shot's better than Harden. Okay, got it. All right, because you all, if you always hit first, then you don't have to worry about it as much. Bide. So this can be a really good one, but I don't think you really get much use out of it right now. Not with minus defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of just how low its HP and defense is, I don't think you can really benefit from Bide anywhere near as much because it kind of locks you into it. Helping. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, all. that, no. no. Mm, don't worry about it. I would build Pokemon to use in dual battles. Okay. You have an awful menagerie of Pokemon right now. I, I love it. No.
Actually, we can name this one a new name if you want. Okay, I did think you should name this one after Pizzazz. Like from Gem and the Holograms, the cringe fail girl who should be in jail. Is that spelled like P-I-Z-Z-A-Z-Z? Yes. Welcome back, Charles. There's no hard and fast rules on this. If it's funnier or cooler, we're, we're just going with it. Pizza. Oh, fuck. I got to enter it again. Oops. I forgot Pokemon has a habit of putting you back in the previous menu when you finish an action instead of putting you to the menu one layer up like most games do. Okay, and Red Hot, we'll name it Red Camel. There's Camel by Camel and Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay, what about Camel Hot? <laughs> camel Hot. <laughs> sure. There we go. Camelot. Oh, Camelot. Okay, I see. And Celine will be staying the same. Because she's so sad. She's, so sad. She has depression. Oh, yeah, I haven't looked up Celine yet. <laughs> Badu? I just kill him for the experience. Like, Ember will toast this thing out immediately. If I can get it almost to zero. Yeah, I'm going to switch out to another Pokemon. All right, Celine, survive one hit. <laughs> She's not gonna survive. Come on, use a stat lowering move. There we go. Fail it. Nope. Oh my no, God, uh, you have nothing? Okay, so water gun will do damage, but it's not gonna be that effective against Badoo, but like it might still work because it's <laughs> so slow. No. Uh, I recommend uh, just to switch back to yeah, Camel Hot. Yeah, if you want to level them up, the best way would be to switch their positions in your team. So you put the weak one out first and then immediately recall it and send out Camel Hot. Because they just have to participate, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would not looking forward to the attack that one was about to unleash. Oh. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a Badoo, so even if it raises its attack for like six turns, it's just gonna like not do anything. Fair mm -hmm. enough. No chances. <gasps> Literally like two steps. Oh, huh? I love Shroomish. Shroomish is actually pretty, pretty good. It doesn't look good, but uh, it's deeper. Like, he looks like something like a little guy you'd carry around hugging, and I love him. And then when he evolves, he turns into a fighting grass type, which is cool. Yeah, I he's want an it. absolute monster. Oh, yeah, in the... Um... Oh, actually, I think it wasn't the, uh, the original Sinnoh games, Diamond Platinum. I used him to destroy our dad. Mm-hmm. Sure, she was caught. I want a mushroom-type Pokemon just, you know, for the, to have it. And you're gonna name him Weed, right? Name him what? Weed. Weed? Why? Mary Jane. Devil's Lettuce. Oh, Devil's Lettuce. Is like, that you're a devil. music related? Yeah. Is a band called Weed? Have sure you ever is. listened to music? No. <laughs> oh, Bob shit. Dylan! Oh, that's good. <laughs> Bob Dylan is good. I'm sorry. We got to go, Bob Dylan. I Wait, do agree we... with that. But okay, now I do want you to eventually get a grass type that you named Devil Lettuce because you're a devil and it's lettuce. I will keep it in mind. Bob Dylan. Also, poor Celine does not get less depressed as time goes on. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> like marginally less depressed, but it's still definitely depressed. <laughs> Level two. No wonder you're so depressed. She looks so sad. 
Oddish name is Wee. Joel do. Oh, that is awful. That is so cute. That is terrible. Electric type. Yeah, I. Well, it's not gonna know an electric attack right now, but I think poor Celine would get destroyed by electric. Isn't she like water flying? Oh, well, okay. It would uh, do force. It would do force. Oh, yeah. Um, so just FYI, um, weaknesses do stack. So um, oh. both water and electric, both water, yeah, water and flying are weak to electric. So if you hit them with an electric attack, it does twice the damage. If they're a water, if they're a water flying type, electricity does four times damage. I'm assuming this one didn't have any electric type moves. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> you shouldn't have to worry about that until like after the first gym, I don't think. For the okay. most part, all anything you're gonna encounter over here should know is like tackle and scratch. Your defense and speed is kind of high for your level. Neat, okay. She looks so sad. <laughs> she has depression. Depression, disgrace. <laughs> oh my God. Was that a Pokemon? It was a Pokemon. Paris. I gotta oh, catch hey. this, right? Yeah, there's your mushroom. Hey, what would happen if you combine the two mushrooms? Mm. That's a good question. Oh. From Paris. Ooh. Cordyceps Pokemon. Oh my. It looks incredible. Alright, in we're an doing awful that. Way. <laughs> do a tackle. That should be good. Enough to buy more Pokeballs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're just chasing like Frankenstein shit in tonight's stream. Really? Oh, absolutely. This is incredible. I love this. Okay. As a parasitic Tochukaso. Tochukaso mushrooms growing in its back that grow by drawing nutrients from the host area valued as medicine for long life. Uh, okay, so we're gonna call it, um... Oh. Entomologists. Oh, infected mushroom. We'll name the other one infected mushroom. Hell yeah. Bob Dylan. Oh, and Bob Dylan. Shit, that's a good one. Next mushroom we get is infected mushroom. All right. Bob Dylan, an entomologist. Oh, God. Which one? Grass bug or grass? Uh, let's see. If you start... Uh... If you have the head, if you choose left, it ends up as a grass bug. If you do the one on the right, it ends up as bug fighting. Bug fighting is useful, I think. Yeah, bug fighting would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. a grass bug is awful. You would get obliterated mm -hmm. nonstop. Oh, yeah. Also, looks awful. <laughs> it just now. looks like a cupcake. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, it's so disgruntled. It's it's staying Bob Dylan, obviously. It looks like the only sound it can make is like a morph. Morph. Contact morph. may poison or cause paralysis or sleep. This is good, right? Uh, uh so they're both yeah, they're both pretty good. Poison Heal is fantastic later on because um, you can equip something that'll automatically poison you at the start, and then it'll Ooh. just means like every turn you get healed. Speed and special attack, defense and the special events. Lax or Jolly? I'm, I'm considering Jolly because speed um, is just good. Yeah, yeah. it's, yeah, because this one too, this one should be um, a physical attacker, so mm -hmm. you don't really need special attack with it. Combine. We always want to combine. 
Oh, they didn't have enough big enough moveset. Okay. I'm going to give it to Bob Dylan, obviously. I'm deferring to y'all's advice on most of this, because this is antidote cool. Ah! <laughs> Fuck this one. <laughs> and, and it's funny, because, like, Bidu is bad, but it evolves into, like, one of the most meta Pokemon. I think it's just getting through the baby is. stages sucks. It's so cute! Yeah. Also, I just... It, it doesn't get less funny at all seeing Celine. Like, every single time, it's still just as funny. <laughs> Celine's pretty great. Do I not have any attacks? Except Absorb, I guess. Yeah, it's just Absorb. Everything else is status. Yeah, and Absorb is <laughs> already pretty sucky, and it's got a type disadvantage against Madu. Okay. But it participated, so... Yeah. Back to Camelot yeah, with an Ember. Yeah, it gets that, you know, participation trophy. God, it's so ugly. <laughs> Camelot is so <laughs> ugly. <laughs> oh. This looks what? like what? the gnome, and I hate <laughs> it. <laughs> I stand uh, okay. by the fact that, yes, it does get better. <laughs> Water sport. Let's see they which... were both so cute, and they turned into that. Nope. Uh, yeah, the the Wayne, the blue Wayne gnome. Like, <laughs> Camel Hot looks <laughs> like they look like that gnome. I don't want Camel Hot to ever talk because that's how they would talk. <laughs> Just give it to Bob Dylan. May as well have an attack type, right? Swerf Neblin. Oh. <laughs> they really don't want me to be short on Pokemon, do they? Oh, no. It's like, they just throw them at you. It's the, just the name of the game. Fair enough. Okay. The only problem becomes money. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to see that. I need more Pokeballs and Splicers already. Oh, you just need to mug more people. I would love to. I give two. And I can't, that's it. That's all I can do. But I can sell some mushrooms. Oh. Or not. Someone fight me. Fight me! I wish to fight. Fight me! Check it out! I cut these two Pokemon and fuse them together using DNA splicers. Alright, show me so I can murder it. God, alright. So Ugh. Oh my! What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bug, right? Yes, it's a psychic bug. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that is awful. Yeah. Is that oh, as... Also, you don't have to attack with them. I'm um, just using them in the battles enough. Got it. I just wanted to test it. Yeah. Okay, Psychic Bug. Bug is weak against flying, I think. Psychic is fighting. Uh, More Psychic and Bug. Psychic and Bug are weak against Psychic and Bug. Uh, psychic Whoa. is weak against Bug, and Fighting is weak against Psychic. What is, and Bug is weak against Flying? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All Bugs are Psychic? Oh my god. Don't growl at me. <laughs> ah, bark. Jesus. <laughs> Sir, I'm here to service you. Here we go. Oh god, I just realized when Camel Hot uses Ember, he's throwing a hot load out. Oh, why? <laughs> yeah, it's grass. Oh, yeah, it's just dead. You are making me look at him. What do you expect? 
Oh. That's the sound that thing makes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Charge. Let's see what we got. We got our electric move. I don't have any. I can't use that. Yeah, it's kind of bad anyway. Yeah. One second. Ow. <laughs> it says ow and disappears. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I went ahead and double checked. Uh, pretty there. much not until fully evolved will uh, Red Hot look anything worthwhile. And it's incredible. <laughs> I love it. It is 100% okay. investment. Is their next, is their next evolve evolution at least an improvement? Let's see. At 14, it should be Chimchar evolving. So... Let's go ahead and... Talk to trainers after check. battling them. They'll often have to offer to have a rematch or trade you some of their Pokemon. Others will just give you freebies like this. Pokeball, nice! Survey says, based on what we currently have, no. Oh boy. Even more Goblin. Oh, good. Ah! I love him! I love him! Can you catch him? No, it's a trainer. Vic, will they let you steal Pokemon? No. No. Oh. I, I, at this point, I would, I would push that child over and I would take that Pokemon. Okay, I'll give you 200 bucks for your Pokemon. No. <laughs> I, I would not offer money. I would simply oh. push the child over. Got it. Is Mr. Mime fairy? Yes. And... Meryl is water. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> Funnily also, enough. <laughs> yeah, also, I think, didn't Meryl get turned into partial fairy too? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's Azumarill, which is the baby, is a normal fairy, but once it evolves into Meryl, then it's water fairy. Can uh, we get gonna... double types with this? Like, can you get a water water? Yes. Sadly, no. Uh, Not no. like in the traditional okay. way. It, it just stays right. a mono type. No, you're good. It's, it's just a water type. Because that e would be funny. Can you imagine, like, what your water, e water, you get no benefit from it, <gasps> but you take, like, four times electricity damage? What is EP? EP. It's an uh, EV and. I don't Ooh. know. Oh, I'm, I am deaf. Oh! No! Oh. Kill! <laughs> it's an EV and a Fenfi. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh. But think of the possibilities. <laughs> no possibilities oh except God. kill. Oh, mm -mm. An anteater with a with mange. I killed the boy. <laughs> Ooh, potions. Well, there could absolutely be a bad EV evolution. Don fan with an EV? Oh, disgusting. Gary. Berries, 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 berries. I should probably give them some berries to hold. Depends. I mean, may as well. They're just free slots, right? Yeah, I mean, it loves to heal when they get below a certain threshold. Free heal, why not? Betty's, Betty's, Betty's. God, now I'm wondering, what would like an Eevee Beedoof, like Spice look like? Would it be an Eevee with the Beedoof face? It'd probably just be a taller Beedoof. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can stack yeah. evolutions. Give it some Pokemon like two heads or something. Mm -hmm. And you can you also splice Pokemon with itself. Like most of the ones that splice with themselves end up actually looking really good and have some really good custom sprites. Hey, Ray, you're going to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Ray versus capitalism. Oh, this might be bad. But yes, Mono, you're correct. It's pretty much just a Bidoof with an Eevee Water. face or an Eevee with a Bidoof face. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. I love that. Water type. That okay. didn't work. 
Okay, it's not just me, right? Like when Celine's not on the screen, I when I picture her face, she's got mascara running down it. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Just keep using Ember. He's success right now. Yeah, to be fair, like early game fire types are just really good. Let's see what we got. Bubble. May lower target speed stat. Water gun. Should I just replace water gun with bubble? Because it seems like an upgrade. No. Wad, no. Is it some hidden stat I'm not seeing? Uh, I, I mean, think they splash. may have changed it because I'm used to water gun being stronger. Yeah, yeah. bubble. Um, it, like the originally bubble did like twenty damage. Hmm. Weird. Okay, steal that Eevee. I can't. Oh, absolutely. You throw a punch at him Pocket and you sand. take that Eevee. <laughs> Yes, burning everything with fire does work. It does. <laughs> Camelot, you, go oh God, looking at you. Uh, use fire, just light everything on fire. It's like, you know, after, like, when he pops out, you know, he's just like, I'm here to service you, sir. They're like, <laughs> oh, no, please. <laughs> you just got lucky. At least you've already <laughs> caught a bunch of Pokemon. You should try training some of them at some point. You motherfucker. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. Maybe I'll use more DNA Spicer to combine my Pokemon and make them stronger. It doesn't make them stronger. It just makes them more diverse. I got plenty of them at the Mart. Here, you can take one. Thanks. You should Thanks, click dialing and move on. There's that trickle down economics right there. <laughs> Smell you later. Do you think splicing Pokemon together causes them psychological damage? Yes. Oh, it absolutely does. Because you have to bear in mind that because both of them <gasps> uh, evolve <gasps> separately. Oh, what? what is this? It's a uh, mind shooter Ur and a Teddy Urso. Oh, what the that fuck? Catch it. Oh, yeah, he's stupid. Oh. Oh. Also, yes. that probably would be a pretty good matchup, like an Ursaring combined with the Mr. Mime. That would be, be fucking crazy. horrifying. Oh, I'm, I'm looking that up right now. Oh, my God. Nope, it actually isn't horrifying. It is adorable. Oh my god. Well, one of them is. Okay, well, that's still, that's acceptable. Radio, we need this child. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get it. <laughs> the little pajamas. It's so cute. So that's one of the ones that they gave a custom sprite that is, like, oh. special. There's, like, a couple hundred that are, like, special combinations that are I, hidden. I, I literally I okay. I just cried a little bit because he's so cute. Well, we caught him. I love him. Yes. Uh, Night moves. So cute. Uh, put him next to Celine. Maybe he will make her less depressed. Maybe she could use a nap. Working on some night moves. Okay, there we go. Okay. I, it looks That's sad. A ground type. It looks like a water type. Yeah, but no, it's a ground type. They, they color code almost every water type blue, and then they make a ground type blue, too. Just to fuck with you. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Oh. What is Mime <laughs> Jr. plus a Slugma? Yeah. No way. You found a Slugma this early on? That's, That's cool. Yeah. That's Slugma fire, is too, awesome. right? Yeah, I mean, honestly, Slugma's a pretty good one, especially this early in the game. Yeah, pretty much any fire type that you can get early on is good. Like, they taper out later on, but like early game, most of what you're going against is going to be like bugs and shit. Bugs and grass types. 
Yeah, I think the first gen games were the only ones where it was hard because your very first gem is a rock gem, but like every mm -hmm. other gen after that, it's like fire is super op early game. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. Oh, there's a slugma. It's good to keep around as, as like a fusion fodder at least, right? Oh, of course. So I'm playing the modern version, which it says it has more diverse early game uh, Pokemon spread, and it mixes yeah. in like four generations of Pokemon into the into the areas. So. Well, good. I definitely prefer that. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, let's call this one. I'll see. Hmm? I'll see. Mm -hmm. Hannah Montana! There we go. Alright, let's get going. Whoops, sorry, I almost bumped into you. Oh, my name's Brock. I'm the official gym leader in Pewter City. Not too far from here. Oh, are you going to the Pokemon League? I see you're a new trainer, so let me explain how the Pokemon League tournament works. Only the strongest trainers of the region could take part in the tournament. A trainer can only be allowed inside the Pokemon League once they've proven their worth by defeating the eight gym leaders of the Kanto region. I'm one of these gym leaders. Since I live in Pewter City, I'll probably be your first challenge. If you're any serious about entering the Pokemon League, you can find me in Pewter City on the other side of Viridian Forest. So rock is water type weakness, right? Yes. Yeah, I just so, realized that we're going to get rocked by him. Um, well, so no, bad. we got Celine, and, and she's actually leveling up pretty fast. Celine, she's going to be, I, I love it. It's all going to ride on Celine, our depressed little girl. Yeah, but Celine's also a flying type. And he's that's, rock. Oh, that's this is the true. Pokemon League. Also, Brock in the games is like pretty hot, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like they gave he's weird because he had to um Thank you. Lilith. Like, you know, Brock, since he welcome. raised all his siblings, it's like he's twenty, well, but he's got like mad Dilf energy. Mm hmm He does kinda have that, and I hate that you, you had to point that out. <laughs> okay, I have to be able to swim to get over there, don't I? Yes. Oh no! Everybody, st everybody starts somewhere, and there's no one set speed. So if you're still on a PNG, and you've got a design that's not up to what you want yet, then it's nothing stopping you from getting there. I started PNG too. Okay, here we go. We'll get there. Poison mushroom. Yeah. Sell that. Uh, okay, so I should probably pick up some Pokeballs. Um, let's pick up one. And we're actually good on potions so far. Yeah. We'll just do another Pokeball. So, from what I know, um, if you really, really want a particular kind of Pokemon and aren't willing to, like, just let it pass you by, you're going to be using a lot of Pokeballs. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Yeah, this game is beyond me, but I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, yeah. Okay, also, so... Also, it's really nice, because, like, with the actual games, it's not unusual for there just to be, like, no decent Pokemon to catch for, like, quite a bit into the game. One fusion I need. What, what fusion is that? Is that one of those down there? <laughs> Okay, so it obviously didn't want me to go that way, so I'm just going to go this way. We're on our way out of Viridian City. Double B drill? Oh, hell yes. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yeah, I already know. Okay, here we go. Um, Fletchling, I'm thinking I could use some flying, so fusion fodder, or I could just defuse. No, Celine is actually... Oh. Well, we can't defuse Celine. Like, she's just our depressed queen. She she's does look like she has eyeshadow, like, okay. <laughs> it is, it's like she's got the mascara drips from crying so much. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna t uh, keep this one as fusion fodder. Yeah, that's enough. Because I want to be able to add a flying type onto something just in case. <laughs> Double B drill is also a fire type. <laughs> oh, it is fire flying. Later on, later on. Right now, it's not. Mm -hmm. But when you evolve, it is. Fletchling. Um. Something air related, something sky related. Uh... Mm. Oh, we're doing bands in like the music industry. So like an album, a song name, an artist. So Who are you gonna name Hannah Montana? I already named uh, something Hannah Montana. Freebird, yeah, Freebird. I'm as free as a bird now. Free bird. No, no, you can't have it. It's just that that's his name. <laughs> free bird. Take this bird. Someone, please. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's get another bug type if we can. I would like another bug type for fusion. But uh, let's do this trainer first. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we got. No, go away. I'm so mad. All right, we can't catch anything. Two Weedle for fusion. I could do that. We got to actually store one of these Pokemon. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I got to store Slugma. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> How close is the next town? Uh, I don't remember how big this forest is, because it really depends on like their interpretation of the Viridian Forest. Okay, well, let's just go back and drop off Slugma. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I do need to start doing some dual fusions. That's correct. Oh, right here. Oh, what mm, am I doing? The, it's in the focus center. Yeah. On the right hand side. Yeah, basically all the mechanic uh, mechanics that I am familiar with were learned completely by osmosis or in my first hour or so of Sun and Moon. Yeah, you're all good. Um, hmm. Poison type could be useful to have around. Oh, thank you, Lilith. Much appreciated. Also, I meant to do this, but here. I've been doing this all week for small streamers, wanting to encourage them and help them stay motivated. Carrots, so I hope these bits brighten your day. Thank you, they do. Also, carrots, text-to-speech, carrots? Uh, okay, so look, look, look at our spread. Normal flying with water, electric fire. Uh, does rock have any interactions with flying or is that ground? Rock uh, beats flying. Yes. But water beats rock, so it might be worth having around just to, you know, do a one and done. Um, electric fire. Fire is useless against rock, or is electric against rock useless? That's the one. Electric can't do... Well, electric does just fine against rock. Ironically, it's just against ground that it has issues. Okay. Rock and ground, rock and ground. Uh, water, electric. Probably that's... No, water... Hmm. The poison is going to be almost useless in the gym, though. So, <laughs> that one. Yeah, water and actually any grass types are going to be your main bet against that. Mm -hmm. Grass, really? Yep, grass beats rock. Interesting. So maybe I can pick up a good fusion in the, in the forest on my way. Oh, for sure. I have no doubt you'll be able to find a good grass type over there. 
Wasn't worth finding a good grass type that'll look good. I mean, good, cool, funky, horrifying. It, it's all. <laughs> it's all good. Parasite, you can have status for ability that bypasses rock. It does. Didn't know that. Oh right, no, no. I already, I already got um poison heal. So. Yeah, it sucks that. They do, like, all baby Pokemon, they won't evolve unless you have a really high friendship, because that's really hard to do this early in the game. But, like, it would have given you such a nice Pokemon if you could get a Roselia. Or, what's it called? Rose? Uh, Rosalina. Rosalina, thank you. Okay. Let's just, um... Let's just, uh... Let's just kill. <laughs> Besties kill. <laughs> Besties kill. I do love shrooms because one, the name sounds like toots, and two, that is absolutely a stoner Pokemon. <gasps> oh my. You're right though. Spinner and a Bonsley. That's. Oh, that... Brady up. Oh, wait, no, Bonsley's not the one. It's Pineco is the one that you really yes. like. Is that the one that's a pine cone? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the pine cone. Yeah, not anything else. Ah! <laughs> <gasps> Look at those big anime eyes. Uh, oh no, Loth, this is not randomized because I have never that's finished a Pokemon oh game. I've never gotten you more than three Mar hours. You killed Miraculous Ladybug. Good. I actually have no judgments about the show. I have not watched <laughs> Tiny Mushroom. It, it's not good, but I can't stop watching it. I hear the same thing from another friend, Sean. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll pro I would probably play randomized if I knew what to expect, but this game is all new for me. Um, let me give y'all a, a brief rundown of my Pokemon experience. When I was young and the, the Game Boy, the Game Boy, the Game Boy was released. Um, my mom bought me and my brother some used Game Boys. Uh, and she had enough money to get each of us one game. And she got my brother Pokemon Yellow and she got me Tetris because I was a kid who liked puzzles. Uh, I loved Tetris. Didn't know what I was missing with Pokemon. I missed Pokemon all the way through school. Then I get to college. Every freaking person I know and see is playing Pokemon, talking about Pokemon, enjoying Pokemon. And ever since then, I've been like, I gotta try Pokemon. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. So I've tried emulators. I've tried used copies. Everything I try, I get two to three hours in and I just, I can't do it. I just can't. There's something missing in me that drives people to play Pokemon. Yeah, well, I don't think it would really be your type of game anyway, because, like, at its heart, Pokemon is a collectathon and about min-maxing. Well, let's be real. I don't... Oh! Oh, oh. oh that is terrible. I love it's it. Like, it's like a Bonsley covered in flesh. <sighs> oh. Uh, uh. He looks like he's... He looks like he's ready to square up, though. I don't <laughs> like the the fact that it's squared up. It's squared up. <laughs> he's gonna challenge you to a fight. That's Mr. Worldwide right there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, I don't think the me of that back then could have enjoyed Pokemon. I do think the me of now can enjoy Pokemon. I'm just gonna keep it actually. I, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love her. Oh my God. And because it's an Encada, like, it's not going to get much better. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> Our attack is going really high. <laughs> yeah, but then that does make me wonder what would happen when that evolves? Because isn't it like an Encada when it evolves, like you get two Pokemon with it. So what would happen mm -hmm. with that one? It still just splits off like normal. What is going on? So here? do you end up with like one fusion and one normal Pokemon? Mm-hmm. Ah. 
Though, if I remember correctly, if you do a double fusion, you unfortunately still only end up with one Pokemon. <laughs> okay, also, that's amazing. I love that. It's a, the, the little the fire moth with Baneri. <laughs> yeah, like a, yeah, it's actually really good. Uh, a good mix, all things considered. Like, normal um, type will always be a good typing. Like, not the best, but it'll always be a good typing. To finish off my last sentiment, essentially, um, I had a lot less patience for games when I was younger. Uh, and it turns out, here's the reason, by the way. Undiagnosed ADHD. <laughs> so, now that I medicate, well, suddenly it turns out I have the patience to just dive into min-maxing and collecting. Weird, huh? Yeah, but probably not breeding. I, I could see you getting old of that real quick. I don't know, we'll have to see. Yeah. I don't know if you'd get into, like, the full-on EV, IV type stuff, but like, that, that only that's matters. My shit. You, yeah, oh. that only also matters if you want to do, like, competitive type battling. I don't... Like, a lot of people with ADHD or similar neurodivergencies have uh, hyperfixations. I don't hyperfixate. I have minor fixations, but I'm usually able to control where they're directed, and I can't intentionally trigger them. Uh, they're rarely ever involved with games. It's usually creative pursuits. So, I don't know if I would hyperfixate on this. Paris. I'm contemplating a Paris Paris or something like that. Uh, I'm curious. Maybe I'd Paris in another bug type. Yeah, we'll fuse Paris with whatever we get next that we're wanting to catch. And then we'll move on to the next city. Because I just wanted to get a good spread, you know? A good yeah, 14. Course. Okay, um... Infected Mushroom. There we go. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I healed the Paris, because it's just going to heal when I fuse it anyways. Whatever. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, Paris and Zubat? Oh my god. God, that would be such a bad Pokemon. You have to do it. Bad in what way? Flying like, in poison? Like, just a nasty, nasty little boy. Oh. Also, Zubat, Zubat's already flying poison. Oh, okay. But just like, oh my god. Nasty man. Nasty little s sky man. In the sky. Nasty little garbage man. So nasty, nasty little boy. Okay. Yes, bat country, obviously. I'm so slow on the menu selections. I do like me some Avenge Sevenfold. Ah! Oh, now you show up. Now you show up. Can I even catch this thing? Yeah. Where, where's it go? 
Oh, it'll automatically go to your PC. Oh, good, because uh, like a whatever this thing is, I want it. No, I lost my I lost my ball. Okay. Well, we know it's here, so. I'm gonna destroy this whatever this is. I think it's like based on a mole cricket of some kind. God. Zubat in this thing would have been metal as hell. Yes. That would have been wow. Like talk about a trash Pokemon. Why do you keep saying trash? Well, Look at that, you see. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I see. <laughs> Oh no, that was just it. Z Zubat alone is bad. Crobat's pretty good. Yeah. It just takes time, and a lot of people don't have that. Yeah, especially because, I mean, also, I th I heard they fixed it in, like, some of the newer, newer games, mm. but any of the, like, older games, when you had to go through caves, it was a nightmare. No. Oh. Okay, poison is actually pretty effective. Yeah, poison is also super effective against grass. Good to know, good to know. But you basically don't get any usable poison type moves until like borscht. way later. What does borscht mean? Borscht. It's good. It's, I mean, yeah. Forced. Yeah. Shikata? Oh, that's cool! No. Oh, it's a cicada! That's why it was called Minkata. Ooh, Borscht. We do love Borscht here. Borscht with some nice dollop of sour cream in there. Nice deep red. Hearty beet flavor. We love that. You know, I've been very fond of making cream soups lately. Got... Hello? Oh, I really like Chill Trick. Oh, he's so cute. There we go. Flying type against bug. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, because birds eat bugs. Goodbye. Yeah. Our defense is actually pretty damn high. Considering mm. what you are, yes. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> we needed the high defense to deal with the harshness of life. Oh, you've got your in-laws staying with you. Didn't know that. Wish your mushrooms were working in a pinch. You need to heal your Pokemon, but you better have an antidote, better have an antidote ready. Big mushrooms are super rare and valuable. Be careful if you go hunting after them. They look exactly the same as poison mushrooms. Remember, y'all, never, never harvest a mushroom without knowing exactly what kind of mushroom it is. Never eat a mushroom without knowing exactly what kind of mushroom it is. Ever, 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 under any circumstances. You do not want to break that rule. Okay, let's time time to do a, a para Zubat fusion. Oh, para Zubat. That oh. hurts me. Yeah, it's gonna be terrible. Backcountry and infected mushroom. <laughs> oh, this looks metal actually. Bug flying, poison grass. It can still get poison moves. Mm -hmm. What's poison weak against? Uh poison is weak against I'm trying to remember. Metal? Uh, 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 psychic will destroy it, and it can't hit steel types. I don't know if steel is super effective against it, but it has no effect on steel. Let's do bug yeah, flying. I think, I think it's just ground and psychic that do good against poison. We'll still use poison moves. Yeah, generally yeah. the downside to poison is that the majority of the poison types have, like, shit stats. Yeah, you have not mentioned that to me at all, Cat. Whoa! 
Yeah. Oh, th that's a funky little dude. Pabat. Pabat. Pabat is parasitic touch of Kasu mushrooms growing in its back. They use ultrasonic yeah. waves to detect obstacles. I don't, I don't like how he just has skin over his eye holes. <clears throat> Reduces HP if it is hot. Water restores HP. What is that? Oh, it's dry skin. Pokemon is protected from flinching. Dry skin seems intriguing. Inner focus is better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Plus be my special defense. That seems good. Naive seems good. Yeah. Yeah. Combine. Obviously, we want to learn combine. Oh, it's not big enough. Okay. Well, whatever. All right. So I think we got a good spread here. Um. We're going to try uh, a gym just to see what happens. If we get our shit wrecked, we get it wrecked. It's fine. Because we always come out with information. <sighs> Tyrogue. Mankey. I don't have a Mankey. Like, I'd do that trade. Hell, Tyrogue is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and save. Hey, what's up? Check out the museum yet? No. Really? You have to go. The entrance is free and there's a huge collection of rare fossils from around the world. Does this game have like the resurrecting fossils mechanic? Yes. Yeah, it's not a Nuzlocke. We're doing fine. What is this? Peter City's Hotel. 50 for a room. Would you like to rent a room? No. Most major cities in Kanto have hotels like this one. They're great for finding people to help or simply to rest to make the time pass faster. People buy the lost things often come to hotels to keep, seek help from traveling Pokemon trainers. Those hang out on the top floor of the hotels and give you rewards for helping them, so don't miss out. Sure, why not? Here? Are you a Pokemon trainer? I want to make some wild mushroom stew, but I'm afraid to go to Viridian Forest. Side quest! To pick them up because of wild Pokemon. Would you mind helping me out? I'll give you something in return. Make it worth your while. Yes. Three tiny mushrooms. I have one. Also, Viridian Forest is important because that is where Pikachu is at. Really? Sure. I mean, I may as well take these. There's no quest log. Yeah, which is which this is definitely different from normal Pokemon, so I appreciate this addition. All right, Lost Revive. Got it. Many cities you'll find hotels just like this one. Local residents gather when they seek the help of traveling Pokemon trainers. Oh, nice. Accept the quest in progress three. Help one more person and I'll give you something good. A Meowth for your home Pikachu. It's only proper. I am not sure what you mean by that. So, do I know where the gym is? It's up here? Yeah, this is the gym. Do you guys want to know a really cursed thing? Sure. Like, fun little fact about my life. What's that? Is one of my best friends in high school was, like, absolutely obsessed with the pairing of Ash and Twink Human Form Pikachu. Okay. What? Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> Qua? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, you know, Pikachu, but as like a Tumblr sexy man. My goodness. Chintzy. Appa apparently it's actually like a pretty common pairing, which, okay. But like, yeah. This looks like a bug and rock type. Bug and ground, maybe? Uh... Mm. Let's try it. Hey, nope. cat, yes, all my stories are cursed. Rock, maybe. <laughs> no. No. It's water and shit. So that's the thing. Both of these are a dual mix. So it's trying to remember which one, like, we're trying to figure out which one's the head. <laughs> Does look like a durian. 
ให้ในใกล้เดิมโอ้ it's water steel okay oh my goodness that's not fair <laughs> This feels very powerful. Oh yeah, they put a steel type before the first gym. Like, why would they do that? An advanced type. Basically, steel resists a lot, so it's a very defensive type. So, since yeah. you start off with such weak Pokemon in the beginning, like you saw, you're just smashing your face against it over and over, and it has iron barbs, so you're. It's doing more damage to you by you hitting it than otherwise. Yeah, the only thing that would be effective against that is fighting, because normally steel is weak to fire, but the water type means fire would only do normal damage. That's and then, fucked. And then yeah. steel types always have like ridiculously high defense too. Okay. Well, they used to. They've introduced some more in the later gens that don't. I'm only allowed to use as many Pokemon as the gym leader. Oh. oh, that's interesting. I, I like that. that. I'm gonna that enter. Is, I, I like that too. And we're gonna enter my two highest. I gotta. Did you? Did you change? heal? Did you heal? Uh, there's two points from each of them missing. I don't have enough potions to make it worthwhile. Oh! Oh! Look at his, oh. Face. Look at his face! That does not look oh. like a rock type. <laughs> no. It what? looks like. He's wearing What? some really messed up crotchless pants. I got a switch. Oh. And it has effect spore. What is this? Oh, no. That's a plant type and something else. I think a water type because water was ineffective. Although grass would be water. Okay. I can't like, what does fire do against that? Yeah, this makes no sense because this is a Whoa. grass steel yeah. type. Double, double weak. Yeah, it's a grass steel type. What? Ste Jr. Okay, it's a Mime Jr. and what's a Ste? I'm guessing Steelix. No, that. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Really? Like if they made giving you like a level three. Ah! It is. Oh. oh my god! It oh, is. What? It. What? I don't like it. I don't like the juniors around here. <laughs> I don't like the juniors. Oh, it looks like a DBZ villain. Ow. It does. But I thought he was supposed to be a, cute. a rock gym leader. Why is he using steel types? I'm so confused. Dude, I like, oh my god. He pulled a fast one, man. It's like he knew you were coming with like waters for his walk type so he's like pulling out the steels i can see that if i wasn't prepared with an over leveled team with at least one weakness i would have gotten my shit rocked oh hey zyke someone give me a shout out for zyke hello how's it going welcome raiders good to see you hi i'm radia aka radia live Devil V is Super. It, is it S O or shout out? Uh, exclamation point S O, and then uh, the name. Welcome, welcome. How was your stream? The last hero of Nostalgia. I see some fun things about that. Camelot wants to learn Spark. Yes. Woohoo! Electric Charge Tackle, and we'll replace Normal Tackle with that. Oh, no problem. Thank you, rascals. That was an attack, so that's <gasps> going to be my main attack. What's up? If it is based on normal stuff, this is first evolution. Oh. If it is based on normal, because it I normally evolves at 14. I took you for granted. You got $1,200 for winning. Yes. OK, so we're doing a half evolution here. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. What's the button to stop evolution? I don't want to do that, but I, oh, 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 actually, it's not that bad. It's the B button. Like I said, he's just more goblin. What's yeah, B on the Nintendo? 
the right hand face button, bottom. Uh, I don't know because literally on the consoles, it's always marked as like the actual like the B button. So I don't like the actual B button. So I don't know what the B button is for you. What did one stone said to the other one? I was trying to get it work things out. I took you for granted. <laughs> Mock punch. Mock punch. Fighting move. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's actually a really good one. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, if you had gotten that before coming into this gym, you would have destroyed everyone oh. in here. We're gonna it been incredible. pure attack. Pure attack. Yeah, you don't need Leer anyway. Mock punch. So fighting fire electric. God, we're gonna be like It's got a really good spread so far. Yeah. Basically, we're gonna be like, as long as we don't run into a particular double type. We're fine. <laughs> TM3 and Rock Tomb. Basically, Monkey Punch. Slows the opponent down. I actually, I really like the new form. Like, the other one was so bad that this one is just endearingly adorable now. It just looks like a yeah. swole sphinx, whatever it is. Yeah, I, I mean, I no longer oh. feel like it's going to constantly oh, talk about it, really. Toga be on edge. Oh. Well, bud, I'm sorry to say it, but you are about to get your shit rocked. Ow. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Ow! Stop it! I just had to try him, you know? We're gonna heal with a potion. Ah! What is that? Com combined with anything is cursed. I love it. I do love it, though. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm glad I stepped away. I literally came back to see an abomination. <laughs> I'm even hotter than Brock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, we're, so we're on our So what would be, way. like, hmm? the most cursed pairing for an Incata, since it just, like, Mr. Mime. Is awful with anything. Really? I mean, I think you could do worse than that. Mr. Mime kind of fucks up everything. I like Mr. Mime. I mean, yes, but also he kind of fucks up everything. That's why I like him. I know. That's endearing. <laughs> a little let. Oh, my. Now let's make a slug bird. He is. He's a little berry than cream lab. Honestly, that would work out pretty well, because since both of them have fire moves also, it means that... Oh my... Mm, interesting. Why is it green, though? You got Learner's Permit today, congrats. I noticed some fusions are green. Does that mean they have, like, a, a boost? If it's green, it means it has a custom Ooh, sprite. That's pretty cool! Slugling. What is cute? That's Freebird again. I'm just, I'm going to say, I think Freebird is the, the exact opposite of Celine. Big Packs pr oh, protects from defense lowering attacks. That's pretty good, right? Uh, it protects you from intimidation and things like that. Like, you can't go wrong with either one of them. Like, Flame Body is necessary <laughs> for, like, breeding. But Big Packs is just, like, a nice thing to have that you will almost always forget about. We're going to do Naughty. Mine. Yeah, I'd say Flame Body is good uh, because the secondary condition of Burn that they don't actually mention anywhere is it has the Pokemon's attack. Mm -hmm. We're going to take Bob Dylan, I think. And we're going to do some leveling. Okay. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. We're going to do a little bit of leveling. 
Um, we're going to stick our Pokemon. Uh, we're going to stick our two highest level Pokemon in the, in the bank and just level some of these and keep some room to catch some stuff. Uh, I mean, if you catch and you don't have room, it just drops in the PC for you. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. And but I mean, I consider room. if you take Celine out of your party, she's going to cry. Oh my God. She's, she's already cry crying. So <laughs> she cries so much and you want to make her cry more. Are you going to notice the difference? The Zaz and Night moves are going to get us some boosts. That just gave me the thought of like, what if normally she only cries out of the one eye we can see, but then you would hurt her so much she starts crying out of both eyes? Oh, that would hurt. Let's do two more. <laughs> well, I know Celine would know the difference, but Celine also can't speak English. God, there's. I'm going to need so much more money because of these splicers. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the right and... Oh. Ray! It's me, Professor Oak's assistant. I was doing some field work around here and I came across something incredible. You've really got to see this. Seems like there's an outbreak of wild Pokemon with hidden abilities on this route. Ooh. I saw one of them in this very patch of grass. You'll be able to tell at the start of the battle if a Pokemon has its hidden ability. It's a very rare event. We're lucky to be witnessing it so close to home, but I don't expect it to last for a very long time either. So you should try to catch at least one of these rare Pokemon while you still have the chance. Well, I'm headed to Cerulean City for some field work, so I better get going. It's right on the other side of Mount Moon. Maybe I'll catch you there. Good luck with your Pokemon League challenge. What does this mean, hidden ability? Uh, essentially, every single Pokemon has what is known as a hidden ability. Traditionally, it's given either through events or oh. through breeding, but you could also, like this, encounter it that way. And this, was that hidden, hidden ability? abilities are almost always rare or better in some way. Uh, I'm trying to remember what Vital Spirit was. Uh, was that a hidden ability? Oh, yes, that's that's a hidden ability. It means that it can't be put to sleep. Okay. We're going to switch in Camelot and do some quick attacks. Wait, that's not Camelot. Whatever. Um, Look at his little face. Little dude. Oh shit. <laughs> that is I absolutely think... it's a little dude. That's like the definition of a little dude. We're gonna do an amber since it's resistant to amber. And we'll do one more. And that might let us Ah, we'll do one more. Uh, you should be good. Um because paralyze is actually the best or not paralyze, it's sleep. But yes, uh, doing status effects also does increase the chance of catching them. Sleep is the best one. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That like doubles your chance, I think. Yeah, sleep and paralyze increase a lot. The other ones technically do, but it's by such a small amount it can basically be ignored. Okay, come on. Can't use all that many Pokeballs. I need these. God damn it. Is it harder to catch a hidden ability Pokemon? No, uh, it's just a little you bit harder to catch switch this out one. Camel because <laughs> he might faint. Yeah, you're right. Because all Pokemon have a very specific rating for how easy or hard it is to catch, and the Magmar line is a little bit more difficult, Mag okay. included. Yeah, like their final evolution's pretty up. Oh my god! That's half my ba my balls. <laughs> god, that's four less Pokemon I can catch. Okay. You should oh, cool. name him Steely Dan. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Oh. I only have three balls remain. Steely Dan with the Steely Plan. Okay. Why is it pink in the picture? 
That is a very good question. And I don't have the answer. That's because he's gay. Fair Mm. enough. Okay. Ugh. Frickin' poison. Um, I was gonna say, you should just go get it. You should go get him healed, because poison's gonna persist. I cured it. Cured it. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! oh. Wait. Yeah, it's a Bunerian swine up. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh. Oh. You, need, you need to catch this one. Like, it's I'll, I'll fine. Try. Like, oh my god. S- Swineub's fine. Can you imagine Swineub's final Evo when fused with a Baneri slash Lopunny? It would be so fluffy! I'm doing well, a Lopunny and a Mammoth Swine right now. It's gonna be so fluffy. Oh, right, I can defuse no. some of these. I can mm. use these as defusion. Unfortunately, that is one of the few that does not have a custom sprite, so it does not look cute. <laughs> oh no! That would have been so fluffy. Oh, that deeply hurts my heart. Mm-hmm. It's earlier evolutions are all done, but no! fully evolved, it has oh. not been done. Shit. Oh, if you can't get mad, like you have to be proud of her. Like, look how happy she is. She did good great. job, Celine. I'm gonna get a low punny. Why would you want Nintendo to kill this game? Togepi, kill. I mean, Toki, Toki's good at stalling. I mean, look, no matter what, this is a complete game and it's already out there. Nintendo will not be able to remove this from the internet. Period. It's too late. So the game will <laughs> never go anywhere. Try. They can shut down updates, but... I mean, I don't think they can. Have you seen the things that are online about Pokemon? <laughs> but they, they haven't done been able to do anything about those. I don't think they're gonna do and be able to do anything about this. <laughs> Testing this out. I just want to see like the the. Stop lowering my attack! Oh my god. It's not even worth it having Bob Dylan out anymore. No. <laughs> Just make a worked version for 60 bucks. Yes, you're right. Your entire raison d'etre is to stop me from killing you, isn't it? Yes, Tokopi is very, very good at that. Oh no, they would never do splicing because then then they'd have to actually reuse assets from older games instead of remaking them again for the hundredth time. Look, um, so I've gotten a lot of shit even from friends on this. We're very attached to the Pokemon franchise. I think the tendency for the Pokemon company to every single time they release a Pokemon game, Pokemon game, recreate all the models and animations from the ground up over and over again, is it's, it's idiocy. It is. Also, it, you it have to sense. catch Ela Kid. Oh. You need him. Like you, you have to catch him. You need him. Uh, ACDC. Like, thank <gasps> you very much. Yes. Like genuinely, genuinely, right? Just make a master release for the current generation of hardware of all the Pokemon. Then you downscale them, all of them. That's it. They don't care. We don't care if you reuse the same models, textures, and animations for a Pokemon game. You just got to add some new content. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, it grew up as a pixel game. Like, come on, you don't even need it to be 3D. If you, if they put out, like, a fire red leaf green adjacent game but just said oh yeah every single pokemon and every single feature we've ever done is going to be this one but sorry it's not going to be 3d it's going to be pixel art people would still buy it yeah they'd be like well that sucks but hey it's still pokemon well okay so fuck well we gotta kill it cat the only people that got that gave from software shit for using information uh 
assets for Elder Soul. Elden Ring are people who don't know how game development works. Like, here's the thing. People who don't know how game development works defended the hell out of the Pokemon company for not putting in the new stuff. I mean, the, the older assets. And they ripped apart from software for using older assets. I think that the fact that this is a game series that is primarily geared towards children does not excuse the, the completely horrifically missed opportunity that is not using older assets to create more content and complexity for less work, thereby overworking your staff for tasks that are already done for who knows why. Who knows why? Who knows why? I Because they gotta stay, you know, up to date. Tradition. It's tradition. It's, it's tradition. Mm -hmm. We know why. It's tradition. Like, frankly, um, one of my pet peeves is using tradition as an excuse for doing something stupid. So. Yeah. Yeah. I actually stopped talking about Pokemon because I got so much shit for it. Like, I got snapped at multiple times. I don't see why. Everybody's free to their opinion. And, like, Pokemon's not a perfect series yeah. <laughs> by any well, stretch of the imagination. <laughs> you would think, and yet I got shit for it. Shit that I did not appreciate. Anyway. Um, in my opinion, Pokemon should just reuse assets from the 3D games and make just a better Arceus. That's it. Just do a better Arceus. Because people loved Arceus. They adored Arceus. I think it was the yeah. highest rated Pokemon game in, what, a decade? Oh, absolutely. Like, I've played every single Pokemon game, and I will likely continue to play every single Pokemon game. But Arceus is the only one that I've actually successfully gone through beginning to end and caught every single Pokemon since X and Y. Well, I'm pronouncing Arceus uh, the way a Latinate language would pronounce it. If well, it were Arceus. Japanese, it would be out of chaos. But um, I don't pronounce E's as E when it's a singular E in most cases. I just don't. People are going to have to deal with that. And unfortunately, Nick, it is officially both been pronounced Arceus and Arceus. It depends which Pokemon game you read it in. Because they've pronounced it as both. Also, I don't want to say Arce. That's about it. Yeah, Arceus. Deus Ex? DSX is how people want you to pronounce that. Yeah, DSX is what they want you to do. It's Deus. <laughs> okay, whatever the... What do you mean, no? <laughs> it's Deus Ex. Deus. Right? Oh, okay. man, I've been pronouncing it Deuce all this time. Yeah, I mean, you're not alone, <laughs> but if you've never heard it spoken out loud, that's not a big deal. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say Deus. 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 <laughs> Deus. This is explicitly Latin. Gloria in excelsis Dio. Deo. Yeah. It was me. Dio. <laughs> Was that a JoJo reference? No. Okay, just making sure. Thank you. Look, I'll go with Arceus. That's fine too. I'm not calling it Arceus. That just sounds terrible. It sounds undignified. 
Let's see what lo what screeches. No. Arceus? I just, that's not how I pronounce singular E's. Yeah. <laughs> Look, when it matters, you can pronounce, you can, you can come at me about pronunciation. When it's someone's name, like a real person's name, or like a respected religious institution or holiday or something like that, I will absolutely go to, to the effort to pronounce it correctly. I don't give a goddamn if it's a fictional character. I really don't. On the other hand, though, Smirly. I don't like this thing. <laughs> I'm just, I've been trying to figure out if I do. It looks like it hurts. It's just existence is pain. Life that is would pain. Be, that would be a really good friend for Celine. This is gonna hurt. This is really gonna hurt. But I gotta get. I gotta get. See if I can get that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Participation award. Oh, I hate his eyes. I hate his eyes. Come on, Bob Dylan. Oh, wait. Let's see, I'm having a hard time figuring out, like, if it's mouth, it's supposed to be, like, it's mouth or it's nose, because, like, I could see both. Here we go. Okay, I'll is XP eight. split or, like, evenly given to it's participants? Splits. Fuck. Sorry, what's up, it's, babe? It's funny because, like, in every time we've seen it, it's like the bird body is being used, but something about putting the different faces on it just always makes it sad. Yeah. Like, any other Pokemon head on that body, and it's just suffering. And I want to split it again. <laughs> All right, this time I'm going to fucking, I'm going to punch this bird. <laughs> I will punch this bird. I'm going to punch this bird. I mean, it's not very effective. I don't, wait, I guess. Yeah, no, guess... birds are strong against fighting. That's, That's right. That's a lot of XP. Bob Dylan stuns for, yes. What do you got? Uh, target with paralysis. Absorb is, is not as good as stuns for, I think. Uh, but that's your only grass type move. You're honestly better getting rid oh, of yeah, uh, that's an scratch. Right, because they're like superfluous. Let's uh, get oh, rid okay, of Okay, they changed tackle too. Okay, so now it does have 100%. That's good. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm Trisk. Trisk, yeah. get some punching birds. Oh, no. I don't want to switch. Ah! Punch it! <laughs> Gross. Okay. Oh, that oh, looks like Snow something type. that would would have been an invader Zim. <laughs> okay, this thing's ice type is being weakness is being negated by something else. Fairy, I guess. Huh? Oh well, no, that's... it's ground. Yeah, it's ground. It's ground gets ice moves. Swineup does. Oh my god. Okay, ground. Yeah, and... Swineup is ice ground. <laughs> Okay. I don't know all the types, by the way. You're good. Yeah, no, Selene's a good choice here. The water move will be really good. Yeah, ground and water are incompatible. Got it. Oh, oh, oh no. Nice. Oh. <gasps> she thought out immediately. Dude, what? Is there like a random chance every round? It is literally a very low random chance. <laughs> Celine. Celine? You may yeah. be sad, but you are wonderful. I was going to say, she is sad, but she oh! is... Oh! 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 It's a, it's oh. a platypus cosplaying a fucking bird. Oh. Kill it! Selene, kill it! Charm. Kill it! Gene, it's in pain! Selene, kill it! Oh. I'm not oh, catching I, that because it's a trainer's Pokemon. I, Why is it like you keep asking me to it. catch trainer's Pokemon? Uh, it got, electric is going to destroy this thing. Ow. The platypus. Is there a platypus Pokemon? Oh, that's a Bidoof plus a Fletching or whatever. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Uh. Oh, no. Uh. 
Fuck it. Oh, this we is gonna gotta hurt. do what we can. This is gonna hurt so bad. I think this might one hit. Ow. Oh, not no! Quite one hit. Oh, no! Pretty, pretty bad. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, if, um, if rollout hits next turn, it's definitely gonna knock out whoever you send out. It's because it used defense curl first, which buffs the power of rollout, and then rollout has to be used four or five turns in a row. I don't remember. Yeah, it's one of those things where uh, each turn it hits, too, it also gets increases in power. Ah! Uh. Come on! And the fact that it's normal flying gives you no, like, really good type advantages. This goofy motherfucker is so powerful! Oh god, I'm so- I'm actually kind of fucked. You got what? this, Bob Dylan. We believe in you. We uh, believe in you, Bob Dylan. Uh... No! Oh, no, Bob this Dylan! This one Pokemon oh. is sweeping my entire team. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is definitely a Pokemon thing. Yeah. Come on, Spark. Uh, God damn it! Punch. <gasps> Come on, wake up. Camel, wake up. You can do uh, it. We believe in you. Camel, we believe in oh, you. Wake up. Oh, 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 no! Come on. Oh, thank God. Okay. You broke your streak for some reason. Got it. Fuck you. Yeah, oh you God. saved our lives. <gasps> Another evolution. Really? Yes. If this <gasps> thing sweeps me, I'm going to be so pissed off. That's so cute. Oh, rollout's a five turn max? Okay. Die. Can you die, please? Die, please! No chances. Oh. Camel hot, saving the day. <laughs> I lost my comfy feeling? We are not about me? <laughs> <laughs> I, Camel hot's our boy out here. What we got, what we got, what we got? Sphinx is evolving. A Sphinx oh. or whatever it is. Uh, ooh. Oh. Uh, I don't like the blurry face. The face is blurry, and I don't like it. Oh, he looks like he looks like a balding middle-aged man. Paramotha. <laughs> he was such like a good goblin boy, and now he just looks <laughs> looks bad. I told you it gets worse before it gets better. <laughs> okay, well let's heal them up and let's get a little more root action on. <laughs> Wait. He looks like he wants to talk to you about watches. Oh. It's getting better. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he has a beard. Come on. I, and it's just like, it's not that it's like he's balding. It looks like that he's doing a comb over for it. Mm. Ah. Oh. Vacuous Rom? Ah. Or... That looks like Vacuous Rom. I, I don't like his... I don't like his head. His you head know, doesn't look right. The fact that the sprite is blurry is the worst part. Yeah, because he's... Punch it. He's doing a really bad comb over. Like, okay. I did not interpret Aaron's face in that at all for, like, most of it, so it looked like it was some weird sideways horror face thing. Seating airline monkey. No! <laughs> Every time. All right, Pokemon switch out. And go back to Camelot. Camelot is very much my uh, canon in this, in this playthrough. Don't like it. Shut up. 
Oh. Infestation, what does that do? This DOT? I don't like it. There we go. This route is kind of hard, but it's par with my level, so... Poison powder. Yes, let's see. Uh, supersonic. Stun spore. Uh, let's forget supersonic. Yeah. Nope. Fuck. Infestation. Yes, let's switch to... Infect the mushroom again. If I can get these to level 10, I think I should be good. Ew. Ah! Oh! I... Buddy. <laughs> you need help. Okay, it's really just honestly impressive at this point how bad anything is mixed with Nincata. I need one. I need one bad. It's the squat, like, hunched posture and the whiskers and, like, the eyes. It's, it's fucked. It is asking for help. Okay. It's a, it's a Tokopi on its hands and knees begging. <laughs> Give me death. Give me death. I need death. <laughs> Kill me. There we go. Father, <laughs> why? <laughs> Let's see. What is Astonish? Ghost! Makes the target flinch. Let's, we'll play Scratch with this. I did. Well, okay. So one thing about ghost attacks is they will mm -hmm. not hit normal types. What? Why? Yeah, because... Ghosts can't hurt people, and normal is people. And people oh, can't boy. hurt ghosts either. Yeah. However, you can use a fighting type and you could punch a ghost. Punching a ghost is okay, mm. but tackling yes. a ghost is not okay. Exactly. Like, okay. very intuitive. Oh, wow. He's a centaur! Holy He's shit. a little centaur! Mind over matter. Well, I mean, the mind over matter, that, that makes sense. My jaw hurts. Oh. Is he, no. like, pulling out his guts? That is a badass little dude. God damn it, it's fast. Yeah, that's why I told you you needed to catch it. I can't. Oh, that. Well, I mean, the, the other one, yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, so also, um, okay, so Elikid, he looks like he'd be a baby type, but he's not a baby Pokemon. He actually, like, has normal good stats, and he levels up at level 30. Got it. What do you got? What do you got? Ah, uh, no, this is good as is. Chimko. No. Chimchar and, oh, the grass. Oh. Okay, then that means Ooh. Ember should do normal damage. Yeah. Yep. Also, okay. oh, that is cute. That's um, cute. I do really like that. Grass weak to bug. Grass weak to bug? Yes. And water negates fire damage or resists fire damage. So this is pretty good. Oh. Shit, I forgot I didn't have Cutter on this one. This is the wrong Pokemon for Cutter. Uh, in fact, the Mushroom, I think, had it. Bug flying versus 
Okay. Wait, what? Oh, this Taunt is the wrong one again. You can't do any status moves. Okay. Well. Yeah, I, I miss I misremember what I did, my types. I keep forgetting my types. Um. Fuck it. Let's get some Bob Dylan in here. Some of them are very intuitive. Some of them require a little bit of there thinking. Like ice beating rock. It does? I mean, I guess rock oh, is sorry. shattered ice by beat, ice. No, ice, ice beat ground, not rock. Rock is too hard for ice, but if ice gets into the ground, it destroys it. I guess. <laughs> Right. Yeah, see, and what that's also yours? why um, water is super effective against ground, uh, because water is soft and ground is hard, um, but then... Should I take this? Uh, nah. I already got nah. good moves, though. Yeah, it's like, you're, you're fine. <laughs> Mental hoops, you win it. <laughs> Look, it's, it's Pokemon, okay? This is what happens when you have an organically growing game. Like, I'm not going to criticize Pokemon for that because it grew over a long period of time and that's always going to fuck some stuff up. Now nah, we already have a poison. Also, bugs live in darkness, so that makes sense, too. All right, let's go back. Yeah, and I mean, the reason flying is super effective against fighting is because, like, have you ever tried to punch a bird? That's true. You can't do it. It's true. You can't punch birds. It's impossible. Completely impossible. All right, we're going to get to the next town, and then we're going to call it a night. So let's see what we got going on here. Also, fighting does not do a lot of damage against bugs because it's the same logic. Have you ever tried to punch a bug? Yeah. Yes. D does nothing to him. <laughs> I mean, did some to that one. <laughs> oh! Hello? Oh. That is not okay. Oh, it's... That's like the most horrifying one we've seen yet. I love it. It's like you took two cute things and combining them completely canceled out. It's the eyes. Yeah, like that's 100% a Butterface moment. Like if it was facing the other way and you saw it from the back, you'd be like, oh, that's a really cute Pokemon. Then it turns around, it's like, nope. This is bad. You know, it, all I know is like the next time I'm going to be sleep paralyzed, it's this is what I'm going to say. <laughs> this is bad. There we go. Stop it! Biting, biting darkly, crawling darkly, biting darkly. What is Miorsa? 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 What are you trying to say? <laughs> Just like, probably trying to pronounce it. Oh. I have quick attack, so I don't need agility. Yeah, I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. Plus, Celine's already pretty fast. Like, she's decent with it. Cool. 65. This Ooh. is an upgrade, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a flat yeah. upgrade. With a slight, slightly less usage, but you're rarely gonna run into out of being out of PP. Uh, bird ground? Radius said pee pee. Yeah, pee pee. Power points. Nope. Bird fighting? God, it is. Uh, it's like one of those photoshops of birds with buff arms. Of course. Of course, frozen. He's bad. This is bad. Oh, shh. Can you break out with um, using Ember, or does that only work with Tried Flame it. Body? 
Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. There, yeah, because there is a move on called Flame Body or something, where if you're frozen, oh, it'll thaw you out. Yeah. I'm glad. Very buff bird, though. It, it, the thing is, too, it's like the bird is so buff, but then it's got like the ultimate nerd bowl cut. Stop it! Sorry, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Besties, kill. Kill. Stop it! God damn it! Mm. I'm sorry, that's pretty great. Like, because you have to bear in mind, like, okay, I'm going to look this up for exact numbers now. I'm fucked. Yeah, it only freezes on a 10% chance. <laughs> I'm fucked. Uh oh, besties, I don't think we can girl boss our way out of this one. That's. Probably not. We're gonna hit ourselves. I believe in Celine. Can we gatekeep our way out of it? Celine. <laughs> Celine. <laughs> Celine. Why? <laughs> I mean, we pulled out the depressed Pokemon and asked them not to hit themselves. True. Fuck! Why? Is that uh, always going to happen if I use poison powder? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Smooch him. Because that should have worked. Wait. Ah! Okay, in fairness, that one was on you. It'll, it'll work this time. Okay, like, if that little birdie hits night moves, then, I mean, they're just like... Awful. Hello? Damn. Oh, of course. Oh, it's a psychic type. <laughs> wow! Yeah, it's just flying psychic, so I don't know why it wouldn't let you use poison. Race. DPS race. DPS race, here we go! Oh, so bad. Yeah, probably. One more. One more. Oh, come on. If you clutch this, this would be, this would be incredible. <laughs> Pizzazz, what the hell? No! I thought it was the last one! <laughs> don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ow. Come on! Says. You, like, oh, oh, yeah. oh she it. did. She is so good, though. Oh my god.
That was brutal. That was, that was pretty bad. That's type and yeah. bad luck. That was type and bad luck. Ow, why? <laughs> uh, yes, rest him twice. Give him a vacation. Ah, why? Oh my god. Okay, let's survey our stuff. Okay. Three birds. Ow. Why? Freebird and Steely Dan. Let's take a look at Steely Dan. Ah. No, it's timid. Timid. That means its speed is gonna be down. Uh, no, what that's speed. Oh, the other way. Oh, speed other way. up. Attack oh, rats down. Really oh. fast, actually. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Little... Yeah, that's very, very fast. So that's our special <laughs> attack gun right there. Okay. About that. <laughs> What? Uh, Magmar is a special attacker. Okay, good. If I remember correctly. Usually Wait, when people say no. about that, that means, means it's bad. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be an attacker, though. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're not uh, really using night moves. We should use night moves more. Night moves lick almost saved us. At level four, three, one third of the level of the enemy Pokemon, we almost killed the enemy Pokemon. So yeah, we're... You, you need to level up night modes. Like, look at that little, that little guy. Yeah. It's a good little guy. That's like the best little guy we got. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> God, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. <sighs> that was actually really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do that again. Oh, um, yeah. Damn, y'all. Thank you. I think the fu- Oh. I think the fusion is what I needed to, like, spice it up a bit. Oh, have a good one, Crying. Um. Thank you, Charles. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do a little a cheeky little raid, yeah? Just a nice little raid, you know, something to tide us over. Ooh, Willow's streaming. We're going raid Willow. Yeah, you can throw a monogrub. It's like a <laughs> one in ten chance, I think. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play Pokemon Infinite Fusion again. Uh... I think I want to do a spooky game on Friday, because we're doing Friday and Saturday. But we'll have to see what. Um, so I'll get back to you on that. There we are. Uh, so until then, not full throttle, it's not very spooky. Until then, I want to thank everybody for coming by. Um, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, if you want to see this again, please feel free to join me next time. Uh, as for you, y'all, y'all, you, y'all, I need you to stay warm. I need you to stay cozy. I need you to stay safe. And most of all, I need you to stay sexy. Do you hear me? Stay sexy. Okay, Mono, will you stay sexy? Will you agree? Absolutely. Hell yeah. yeah. Here's our little, oh, here's a little, little raid message. Copy and paste that, uh, and if you don't have the special, exclusive Mono Bay emote, just do any emote. Um, good night, y'all. Bye. Uh, I know. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Thank.